Hi everyone, this is Trish with Bird Feed. Welcome back. I have another Walmart clearance haul for you guys today. I had no intention of doing another Walmart clearance haul because I had no intention of stopping into Walmart again anytime soon because I've purchased so much. But I was at my son's house yesterday. He lives about 30 miles west of me. And there's a Walmart out there and I stopped on my way home. I thought, you know, let me just run in. See, you know, what I was really looking for were those infamous two-pack water bottles, Ozark water bottles for um, $3 for the pack that everyone um, seems to be uh, finding at Walmart, and um, I have not been able to find them. But while I was there, I headed over to the kids' department and found Garanimals. Um, well, I've been finding the Garanimals on sale in my stores near me, but what, what what's there mostly are small sizes, and I always um, strive to get four T's whenever I can. Uh, for my two to four Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes, and this store had quite a bit, and so I wanted to show these to you, uh, just in case you're in need of clothing uh, for your shoe boxes or would like to put in some clothing. Maybe you haven't done it before, uh, because it's you know clothing can be quite expensive, but at a dollar a piece, it's a bargain. I found these cute, these are jeggings. They're all, you know, I almost want to call them legging, although that, you know, inside seam is that flat felled seam and it has belt loops and a faux fly with an elastic waist and it's stretchy fabric. So I would call these jeggings. It's navy with a little gold heart print in it and there's the barcode. I got these in a 4T for a dollar. Uh, and to go with it, I found this adorable t-shirt. It has a little ruffle hem at the bottom. It has a, a unicorn on it. And it's, I know it's Mark three, but everything on the fixture was a dollar. So while I was there, of course, I scanned it with my app just to make sure. And yes, they scanned a dollar, so that is a cute outfit. Then I found the same jeggings in this solid gold color. I didn't find a top to, to go with it. There were some sweatshirts, and I did pick up some sweatshirts, but for my grandson. Um, I just feel that the sweatshirts are going to be bulky in a shoebox, and... Um, Depending on where it goes, they may not, you know, get a lot of wear out of a, a sweatshirt. Some some might, some might not. There's the barcode on the gold ones. And um, but I bought these because this is this is from a previous haul. This dress is from a previous haul that I did. I got this dress for a dollar a while back. And it's a toddler, uh, well, it's an extra small for five, and this is a 4T. But it has the gold color in it, and I thought if she wanted to wear it under her dress for some more modesty, um, she could do that. So I'm going to include it in the shoebox with this dress. Then I found... Uh, another pair of jeggings. These are for girls. And these were a dollar as well. Now these are a 5T. I couldn't find uh, a smaller size. But these I th thought were just adorable in this uh, navy with gold and, and pink. And I had, I knew I had this pink t-shirt. 
that I picked up at the Dollar Tree for a dollar that it could go with. So that makes another cute outfit. As does, uh, now these, um, these are fleece pants, and I wouldn't have picked them up if it didn't have this cute unicorn print on them. And uh, if it goes to a warm climate and they don't need uh, fleece pants, they can cut them off and make them into shorts, but that would also go well with a pink t-shirt, just a plain pink t-shirt. So I picked those up. Those were a dollar. I don't know if I showed these to, this to you. I might have just showed this to you, but I'm going to show it to you again because I don't remember. So there's the barcode on the sweats. So I picked those up. And then I found um, these pants for boys in a 4T. This has a faint dinosaur print on it. And they're in khakis. Uh, it has elastic at the cuff. And it's elastic drawstring waist. I picked it up in a 4T. And there's the barcode. And it has uh, also functional pockets. So I picked that up and I found also this t-shirt, I only found one of these, um, in a 4T. And there's the barcode for this. It says, I'm the king, and it goes well with these pants, as does this t-shirt that I had in my haul yesterday. This goes well with it as well. So um, we've got that. Actually, I probably should have picked up two of these, but I didn't. I wasn't thinking <laughs> because I had this t-shirt and I forgot about this t-shirt. I w wasn't thinking that this could go with it as well, but it goes well. And we've got that too. Um, then I picked up these sweatshirts, all for my three-year-old grandson. I, I picked them all up in four T's because my daughter-in-law said uh, the four T would probably be better than the three for him. Um, so this is a, a heather gray with a dinosaur pattern on it, if you're interested in it, either for your shoe boxes or for your own kids or grandkids. That was a dollar. Everything I'm showing you is a dollar. And I picked up this orange one. It says uh, Dirt Crew and has a um, dump truck on it. It's very cute and colorful. And there's the barcode on that. And this one, which obviously can't go in your shoe boxes because it's a camo print. Um, I picked this up for my grandson, if you're interested in it for your kids, there's a barcode, and it has the perfect saying for him because he is a wild one. So we've got that. Then I went over to look for Melissa and Doug, um, these, this puffy sticker book, puffy, it, it's a, you know, fold out scene, has reusable stickers. Uh, Emily from Love in a Shoebox had found these in her stores where she is for a dollar. Now, I didn't find as great a deal in my stores uh, when I used the barcode that she showed, which is this right here. I found them in my area stores um, for, uh, most of them were regular price. One store had them for three and two stores had them for $2. So I picked these up for $2. I, I picked up two farm ones because I have two farm shoe boxes that I want to do. And um, normally a dollar is the price for me. 
but um, I thought it was it was really cute for and different for the farm uh, theme boxes I wanted to do. So I picked up two of those, and then I also picked one up. Um, this one actually is not open, so I'm not going to open it. But this is similar. This has five fold-out scenes, and the farm has two fold-out scenes. One of these was opened. So you get this sheet of reusable stickers. They're kind of vinyl. And then it's a fold-out scene for them to play with. This one has five fold-out scenes to fill um, with reusable stickers, and this was $2 as well. She got them both for a dollar each. But while I was there, uh, these were in the toy department on an end cap in a, a, a Melissa and Doug display that had all these and there was an, another different kind princesses I think um, there might even been a fourth there might have been four kinds but I only picked up the two but what I found in there someone had dumped all these Christmas coloring books and board books they had dumped them in this cardboard Melissa and Doug display so these were left over from Christmas so they're 90% off. And so I got this, I got three frozen coloring books with crayons and stickers, a sheet of stickers in it, for 39 cents. So I was tickled pink <laughs> to find those. So I picked up three of those. Well, I picked up all of those, and there were three. And then there was one uh, Rudolph with stickers, 39 cents, because they're regularly three ninety eight. Then I found this. I actually found two Peppa Pig. I only picked up one. The other one was a little bit uh, mangled. Uh, not too bad, but I was trying to control myself, you guys. <laughs> So I only picked up the one. This was regularly $7.18. Is that crazy? Comes with a multicolored pencil. And uh, so it was 71 cents for this Peppa Pig coloring book. It's a thick one. So it's going to take up a lot of room in a coloring, in a shoe box. But I did pick them up. Then I found... Um, in that same cardboard Melissa and Doug display, I found all these Christmas board books. Uh, there were a, a couple that I didn't, even, like four that I left there. Um, this one uh, makes sounds. And it has, you know, pictures in it. Um, usually with these Christmas board books, I try and be careful not to pick up the ones that have, you know, a lot of presents under the tree and stuff like that. This one does have Santa's sack full of presents. But I'm hoping they'll relate it to the present that they are getting, the gift that they are getting of their shoebox. Um, it really only shows it in Santa's sack. There's really there's only one under the tree here, um, and these two little ones have a have a few gifts. So I didn't feel like it was really over the top that um, it would make them feel left out. That they're not getting a lot of gifts. Um, let me know what you think on that one. But that was only 89 cents. So I did not, did not leave that there. This one was only 71 cents. 
and it's the ABCs of Christmas, so it's uh, really, you know, nice, cute, big, colorful pictures. Not a lot of words, just the letters of the alphabet, and um, I thought that was really cute. So I got that as well. Then Christmas in the Manger was only 62 cents. And it has also like singular pictures, mostly animals. And the wise men and Joseph and Mary with baby Jesus. Then I picked up a Christmas Paw Patrol, Christmas Heroes. And I might use this in one of my Paw Patrol books. Um, I did already pick up some board books, so I think it just depends on which one fits best. This was 62 cents. And I have a llama box, so I have a llama llama jingle bells to go in that box. There's more pages. I won't go through them all. This was only 56 cents. I picked up uh, Eight Jolly Reindeer, um, mostly just because it was 62 cents. Um, the, the pictures in it are mostly the deer on every single page, but this one was cute with uh, them playing soccer and then sledding downhill. I like to pick up books that have something different on every page so that uh, small children can recognize them and point to them. Then my favorite, but it's a little bit on the big side, so it's not going to fit flat in a regular shoe box. I may have to get a special size to fit this. I'll have to think about it. But it was only a dollar sixteen, ten flame, uh, playful penguins. And um, I have a a book like this for my grandson. I think it's Ten Little Ladybugs, and it's a really cute book, and he loves it. So I thought this would be really cute, and it would go well with the dress that I showed you yesterday in my haul. I have this penguin dress, and that's perfect for a theme right there. So we've got that. Then I was on my way out and passed by, um, up towards the front, they had some school supplies, and I noticed they had these spiral notebooks for 15 cents a piece. So I bought every last one of them that was 15 cents, a box full, it's 24 in there, and another two, four, six, and another six. So I bought them all um, because in my area, I could not get spiral notebooks this past uh, back to school year for 10 cents a piece like everyone else because I do not have a Staples, not even within 50 miles of me. Um, and that's where everybody was getting those 10, 10 cent spiral notebooks. Uh, Walmart had them for a quarter and they still have them for a quarter. This store in particular just happened to have these for 15 cents. And that's how I got them from my shoeboxes last year. I had purchased them in 2019 for 10 cents a piece at Walmart. Um, probably around this time of the year when they were just really trying to clear out the leftovers from back to school. Um, so I had them for last year. I just don't have uh, them now going forward. Maybe back to school, someone will have them for 10 cents, but I didn't want to pass these up. And they're all red except this one blue. <laughs> I think I did leave a green one there. It was a little mangled up, so I left it. 
So um, I've got quite a few books and uh, I will need spiral notebooks for my filler box as well. So maybe since they're all the same color, uh, these will go in the filler box. But um, I hope this uh, video is helpful to you. And if you need clothes for your kids, you might try and uh, head into your Walmart toddler department and see if you can find some granimals on clearance for a dollar. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and comment. I will see you next time. Bye now.